Let's talk measurement using metric units. Why do we need to be able to measure things? Any ideas? Suppose we wanted to measure a 2x4 for building a house. Numbers by themselves don't make sense. A board is 350 long. Units by themselves don't make sense. A board is meters long. To make sense, all measurements need both a number and a unit. Let's look at some basic types of measurement. Length. This measures distance between objects. Mass. This measures the amount of matter in an object. Capacity. This measures the amount a container can hold. Volume. This measures the amount of space something takes up. But there are other types of measurement. Some other types of measurement include time, temperature, density, and pH. All measurement systems have standards. The standard metric unit for length is meter. The standard metric unit for mass is gram. The standard metric unit for capacity is liter. The standard metric unit for temperature is Celsius. And the standard metric unit for time is second. When we look at mass, capacity, and length, they can be broken down into what we call prefixes, such as kilo, hecto, deca, unit, deci, centi, and milli. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in our next video. But let's look at the term estimation. Estimation is using your knowledge of something similar in size or amount to determine the size of the new object. Estimation helps to make a rough measurement of an object. Usefully, when you are in a hurry and exact numbers are not required. Let's look at the metric unit length. Length is the distance between two points. It does not matter if it's width, height, depth, or etc. All are length measurements. The basic unit of length in the SI system or metric system is the meter. The meter is about three feet. A ruler is used to measure length. Let's look at some meter units. The millimeter and centimeter. They're very small, aren't they? The meter, it's about the size of a chair. Kilometer, it's about the size of 10 or more airplanes. Now, let's look at mass. Mass is a measurement of the amount of matter in an object. The basic unit of mass is the gram. A scale is used to measure mass. Weight and mass are related, but not the same. Weight is the pull of gravity on an object. The greater the mass, the larger the pull of gravity. A gram is about the weight of a paperclip. A kilogram is about the weight of a book. Now, let's talk capacity. Capacity is a measurement of the amount that a container can hold. 
the basic unit of capacity is the liter. A measuring cup is used to measure capacity. Hmm, but I wonder, do you know what a milliliter may look like? Or even a liter? Have you seen an eyedropper before? Well, an eyedropper shows the amount of a milliliter and this bottle shows the amount of a two liter coke. So one liter would be half of this bottle. Volume. Volume is a measurement of the amount of space something takes up. The basic unit used for volume is the liter. This unit is used to measure the volume of liquids. A measuring cup is used to measure the volume of liquids. Volumes of solid are figured using this formula. Length times width times height. This is written in cubic units. Temperature. Temperature measures how hot or cold something is. Temperature is measured with a thermometer and measured in Celsius or Fahrenheit. Celsius ranges from 0 degrees, which is its freezing point, to 100 degrees, which is its boiling point. Water freezes on the Fahrenheit scale at 32 degrees and boils at 212 degrees. Time Time measures how long it takes to complete a task. Time is measured using a clock. Time ranges from units as small as seconds to units as large as years. Let's do a quick review. Measurements need a number and a unit. You can measure length, volume, mass, capacity, time, and temperature. Basic units of measurement for length, capacity, and mass are meter, liter, and gram. This lesson was created by Miss Antonia Bain.